Hello, my name's Jim Friend, and today we're going to be making these 3D arrows inside of After Effects and Cinema 4D Lite. If you're just getting started with 3D and want to learn more, I've got a free course over on my website. Check the link in the description below, or check out some of the other videos on this channel. Let's get started. Hello guys, um, so in this tutorial we're just going to be looking at how to make these um, the arrows. If you want to learn anything more about kind of lighting and making 3D text then check out some of the other videos on this um, channel. But for now we're going to start in After Effects, we're going to jump up to File, New, Maxon Cinema 4D File that will um, prompt you to kind of save that somewhere. We can save us here. That's going to launch Cinema 4D Lite. And you'll get a brand new window. Now, these arrows are really simple because we're going to be using a preset. Um, but first of all, we need to just have something that Arrow can point at. So let's jump up to our primitives here. Just throw a sphere into our scene. And to move around, we can either come up here to uh, these tools, you know, pan and zoom in and out and orbit. Or we can actually use the one, two and three keys on our keyboard. So one to pan, two to zoom, three to orbit. So I'm just going to line this ball up something like this and then at least we have something to point at. So to get the arrows, all we're going to do is come up to Window, Content Browser and look for Presets and we want to go Light and then Presets again and then Animation Presets and in there you'll find our Arrow Sweep. You can also search for this with this little icon here, you can search up the top. So let's double click on that arrow sweep, bring it into our scene, close this content browser down. And you can see that's in our scene now. We can move this on the Y axis, just bringing it down slightly. Maybe zoom out a little bit, holding the t two key or using these um, icons up here. Just kind of reframing that slightly maybe something like that, so it's pointing at our ball. And this is so, so simple, this kind of animation. All we need to do is keyframe the slider, as you can see. Always better with sound effects. So all we need to do to animate this is go down to our timeline down here, go to zero, bring our animation sweep. If you don't see this, just make sure you've selected um, this in the objects tab, bring that um, slider down to zero, add a keyframe, slide your uh, timeline all the way to the end, bring this slider up to 100 and add a keyframe there. Then when we play that back, we can see we have some nice animation. Okay, so let's save this. We always have to save to see updates in After Effects. We can jump back into After Effects and we can throw this arrow down into our composition, into a composition and that we can see that that has come in. Obviously this looks horrible at the moment because we're on a draft render so if we change this to current we can see our final result will be a little bit slower playing back. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to show you two more things. Um, you might want to create, you probably will want to create your own path, so not have this kind of corkscrew. So I'm going to show you how to make your own path. And then I'm just going to show you how to change the color of this arrow as well. So let's head on back to Cinema 4D. Now we've linked that file. And to get this moving on a kind of custom path, what we want to do is make sure our arrow sweep is selected in our objects and we can go to spline type and change that to bezier and you can see the kind of shape changes um, and then to alter this shape what we need to do is to make sure we're in point mode over here so it's this square with two dots 
and then we can come into our arrow sweep group just hitting this little plus icon into the spline shape group hitting that and we can select bezier spline and now you can see we've got handles to kind of move this around let's have this pointing down um, at the bottom here and we can um, move some of the other points just by clicking them and dragging these kind of handles. If we actually want to change the, the curve, we need to um, go to the spline pen. So click that, and now you can actually change the um, Bezier handles. A useful way to edit um, these points is actually to go to our four up view. So it's this little icon at the top right hand corner. Click that once. And now you can see our front view here. So we've got top view, right view, and front view. Um, you can use the one and two keys to zoom around. Or again, you can use these um, icons at the top of the uh, each square. So now we can switch between our move tool, moving this up and across, and switch back to our pen tool to move those handles a little bit, and then back to our move tool something like this just bring that bezier handle a little bit if you're actually um, selected on a um, either the front or the back it's going to try and automatically add a point so uh, if you want to just select the handles of course it will it will not select a point but if you do click off it will add another point and maybe that's something you want to do is add some more points um, kind of draw the rest of this path I'm going to undo that for now. Moving back to the move tool, I can kind of move that like that. Let's move back to our perspective, hitting the top right hand corner of that screen, and then play that back. Remember always to save to see updates in After Effects. Last thing I'm going to show you is how to color this arrow. We can come down here to our Materials Manager, double click that makes a default material we can just go ahead and throw that on top of our arrow you won't see anything update now but if we save that jump back to after effects you can see the path is updated and that color has updated as well so jumping back to cinema 4d we can go double click into this material opens our material editor and if you used After Effects or Photoshop you'll be used to these sliders you can kind of pick any color you want go for a nice pink here close that down remember to save to see updates in After Effects and that's updated so I hope that was useful if it was consider giving it a like and a subscribe much appreciated if you want to learn more of the basics, I've got a free course over on my website, link in the description below. And otherwise, check out some of the other videos on this channel.